Um, I think any time we entered the courtroom, there was an un- undeniable weight on us. Um, we all took the responsibility that was put upon us seriously, um, and I'm just one of 12 that made a very difficult decision. What was the evidence that swayed you in the end? You said it wasn't an easy decision. At all. Um, so, speaking for myself, I know that each individual juror had their own opinion. This did this for one person. This convinced the other. For me, um, I just feel like Jennifer didn't separate her son from the gun enough to save those lives that day. He felt custody of the gun. Yes. And then somehow it ends up in his hands. And I think the responsibility of securing the weapon then falls on her. What about those his parents hadn't given him that help? Was that persuasive to you? To me personally, um, it wasn't as impactful as the evidence of her having the gun. But I know for my fellow jurors that um, the notebook played a huge part. Tell me about testimony. Um, Jennifer Crumbly took the, the stand in her own defense. She testified. What did you make of her on the witness stand? Um, at the time, I tried to take her as she gave herself. Um, but once we went into deliberation, it became clear um, that she wasn't a super reliable witness in this case. Do you think she helped herself on the stand or hurt herself? Would it have been better, in other words, if she hadn't testified at all? We'll never know. Um, you, you talked about uh, her testimony that she wouldn't have. How did that strike you and the other jurors? It was repeated a lot in the deliberation room. I think that it was very upsetting to hear. Um, I think that there are many small things that could have been done to prevent this. When you're the jury for person, I am. which is a, a big responsibility, and I should just mention again, there is no manual for jurors. Nobody tells no. jurors how to deliberate. Mm-mm. So how did you handle it, and how, was, was the jury immediately in agreement, or what? how, how did it play out? Um, so I took it more as a job of facilitation. I wanted to make sure that each and every juror, to the best of my ability, was heard and understood and made their point, and we, we heard their piece. Um, and so that was the role that I took on as the foreperson, not immediately unanimous. And um, it was my responsibility to hear the concerns of those on either side and construct an argument either way. Sure, how much that would have helped or hurt. Alex? Okay, y'all, but I'm saying that are all school shooter parents a mom are going to go to prison if they kid prevents a crime like this? Or is this just Jennifer Crumbly situation? So this is Ethan, y'all. Ethan is the young man. This is Jennifer Crumbly's son. And he made a decision to do what he did. But they trying to say the mom could have prevented this. So to me, she was just so interested in that gun, you know what I mean? But this is what's going on. Uh, there's going to be a lot of parents. It's going to, uh, this a wake up call for a lot of you parents. And you see what's going on that, uh, that happened to Jennifer could happen to you. So we got to get a little step ahead on our kids, you know. These are the fathers, y'all, of the victims that was uh, 
shot. Hold on. Okay, Jennifer, uh, this was prosecutors. Prosecution open statement that Jennifer Crombley didn't put the trigger that day, but she is responsible for those deaths. I still don't understand how she responsible for those deaths. I still don't, y'all. I really don't. She is responsible. Hold a nine millimeter semi automatic handgun out of his backpack. He was walking to the home. Let's search. Today at yet another school, student. This teacher Graham was shot fired on campus. But just hours before, teachers called the student's parents. This people knew another student's help. School officials told the court they found this math book. Phrases like the thoughtful stop helped me. My life is sweet. Drawings of a gun. To me, it don't seem like she had no remorse. Jennifer, like she don't have no remorse to me. Well, let's take a look at the messages, y'all. And by the way, y'all, the prosecution did an awesome job. I'm sorry. They did an awesome job. And then, you know, like the juror said that she gave it some time, some thoughts. They uh, Each one of them gave it, gave it some thoughts uh, about this uh, trial, you know, uh, Jennifer. So that's a good thing that I uh, hear. Maybe if I was in the room with them, I would have saw something different, in, you know. Uh, but I still say that I don't think she should be punished for his crime. So that's 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 about the it's not a wake up call for parents. It's it's uh 
for a school shooting. It's it's more like some cause that can go both ways to where the parent don't even care anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, she had her eyes closed. Okay, let's sit this right here. Guilty on four counts of man involuntary manslaughter. When I looked up the definition for involuntary manslaughter, I I, I didn't see nothing that involves her in here. I didn't I really didn't. I think it should be she should have been guilty in something else but not manslaughter. I guess that's the least they have, least crime that they have, you know. I don't know. Um Y'all tell me what you think, like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.